This is code.org. I'm working on CS Fundamentals Course D, Lesson 8, Nested Loops in Maze, Part 7. All right, get the zombie to the sunflower using the fewest blocks possible, okay? Now, it wants us to do this in just five blocks, right? And then only one, using one move statement. So I know we're going to need a repeat. I think we should go along this path, and I definitely don't think we should go this way. So... I'm going to drag out repeat. How many times do I have to go down? I'm not really sure. I'm going to try three. And let's use our move forward. Let's go ahead. Anything inside this pink block, remember, it's going to repeat however many times we have up here. So right now the code goes move forward once, hits the bottom, zoop, twice, three times. Let's see. Okay, so that gets us to here. Now what would we want to do? Well, now we would want to turn right. I wouldn't want this in the repeat because then I'm going to turn right three times. Turns right, try to walk in the grass. Yeah, nope. We want this below. So after I move forward three, I want to turn right. Let's test. Boom. And now the tricky part. I'm going to use another repeat to repeat the repeat. That sounds weird. But this way, for three times, I'm telling my code, okay, everything in this pink, co do three times. So first it drops below and says right. So I'm going to go forward once, zoop, twice, zoop, three times. Then it drops below, turn right, and I turn right. Then it hits this and goes, oh yeah, the outside loop. Zoop. Okay, second time around, boop. Okay, I need to go forward three times. Once, zoop, twice, three times. Drops below, turn right, and I should turn right again. Let's test it. I think we might have it. Awesome. Yeah, so that is what worked for me. You really want to use these loops within loops. It's going to be super important to be able to build cool stuff with code. Let's keep going. 